Heroes Like Us is a series intended at sharing comic book characters from various backgrounds and identities. We won't always get everything right, so feel free to make amendments and corrections in the comments. They're always appreciated. What's not appreciated, however, is any form of hate speech or intolerance, so comments of that nature will be immediately deleted and those users blocked from this channel. This is a place of education and celebration. Welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic and welcome to Heroes Like Us, our video series where we look at a certain identity uh, and then we look at comic book characters that have that identity. There are more than 50 of these videos already up, so if you're, this is your first time here, make sure to check out our entire playlist to see all the videos that you're interested in. Today is another installment of African American Heroes. Uh, and so we've got, I think, five today that we're gonna cover. We're just gonna give you a snapshot of who they are, where to find them. So if these characters look interesting, you can go out there and pursue those books. So this will give you some leads into exciting characters that you can learn about. Up first is Naomi McDuffie from DC Comics. Naomi is actually from an alternate Earth, where powerful radiation enhanced a small number of people who gained superhuman abilities and triggered a war that nearly destroyed the world. Naomi's mother was one of these, so naturally when Naomi was born, others wanted her dead. So to save her, Naomi's parents sent her to the prime DC reality, where she grew up completely unaware of her origin. Eventually, she discovered her abilities and sought out Superman in Metropolis to serve as a mentor. In terms of abilities, Naomi can activate a superhuman mode that gives her armor and energy capabilities, either as a blast or as an enhanced physical prowess. And like Superman, she can fly, she's incredibly strong and extremely durable. Naomi is making waves now with a television show on the CW, aptly named Naomi. Up next, we've got Tempo, Heather Tucker from Marvel Comics. Tempo is a mutant with the ability to manipulate time, but only in her immediate vicinity, such as speeding herself up or slowing down opponents. She served on several teams, including the Mutant Liberation Front and the Acolytes, for a time, till her character was killed in an arc called the Age of X. However, recently she's been revived and appears in the current X-Men titles on the island of Krakoa. Up next we have Quentin West from the series Quinn Credible. This series takes place in New Orleans, following a meteor shower called The Event that gave some people supernatural abilities. Quentin was gifted with invulnerability, which he can use to protect his city. Usually with invulnerability comes powers like super strength or flight, but Quentin instead has to use his smarts to outthink his enemies, of which he starts to gain many. Next we have the gardener, Bella Garten from DC Comics. Bella is a genius botanist who used to teach and study at a university until she was fired for creating animal-plant hybrids. While there, she dated Poison Ivy, who has obvious similar interests. Bella is considered an eco-terrorist, but still wants best for Poison Ivy and keeps tabs on her aware that Ivy has immense and powerful potential. And lastly, from this amazing series called Basilisk, from Boom Studios, we have the character Regan. Regan is one of five supernatural entities making up a group called the Chimera. Each one of the five uses a different sense in order to cause death and mayhem, though Regan has left the others and works to destroy them out of a sense of guilt. Her power is based on her sight, causing death to anyone she looks at just like the mythical basilisk monster. So she wears an eye covering to stop anyone from being hurt. So that is it for this video. A few that hopefully you're interested in that you can go look up. If you think of more, let me know. And as I said in the beginning of the video, make sure to check out the entire playlist. So many different identities, things that you might affiliate with, things that resonate with you. Go check them out and support this uh, series that I really love doing. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.